is still a lot to play for. It could still all look and feel very different. It's fun, this, isn't it? Another update on the next weather for the week ahead. Follow the story, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. You can follow every moment in depth with BBC News. Get the full story at bbc.co.uk forward slash news. Get the headlines as they happen with the breaking news alert. And keep up with events by watching the BBC News channel in the app. Follow the story wherever you are with BBC News. International support for Britain over the Novichok investigation as the US, France, Germany and Canada agree that Russia was almost certainly behind the poisoning. Britain's ambassador to the UN says two Russian military intelligence officers carried out the nerve agent attack, but Russia says it's all been invented. They tried to murder the Skripals. They played dice with the lives of the people of Salisbury. They work in a parallel universe where the normal rules of international affairs are inverted. London needs this story for just one purpose, to, to, to unleash a, a disgusting anti-Russian hysteria and to uh, involve other countries in this hysteria. We'll have the latest from the United Nations in New York also on the programme tonight. An inquest finds that neglect by a leading children's hospital led to the death of this toddler who was left waiting days for emergency surgery. Some of Donald Trump's closest aides line up to say they weren't behind the anonymous article by an insider which has slammed his presidency. The government scraps a planned tax cut for almost three million self-employed workers. British Airways says it's investigating the theft of customer data from its website and mobile app, affecting hundreds of thousands of customers. And the Hollywood star, Burt Reynolds, has died at the age of 82. And coming up on Sports Day on BBC News, Wales go in search of revenge on the Republic of Ireland in the Nations League for Ryan Giggs' first competitive game in charge. Good evening. World leaders have backed the UK over its assessment that the Salisbury Novichok attack was carried out by officers from Russian military intelligence. The US, France, Germany and Canada all agree that the Russian government almost certainly approved the poisoning of former spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia in March. This afternoon, the British ambassador to the United Nations, Karen Pearce, laid out the case against Russia, prompting a furious response from her Russian counterpart, who accused the British government of disgusting anti-Russian hysteria. Our diplomatic correspondent, James Landau, reports. Newsnight is coming up on BBC Two shortly with Emily Maitlis. That's it from us, though. Here on BBC One, it's time for the news where you are. Good night. Welcome to Sports Day. I'm Holly Hamilton. Here's